hey friends welcome to my channel so today we will be discussing about the difference between turbidimetry and nephilometry so what is basically turbidimetry and nephilometry they are the procedures or the techniques which are used to determine the concentration of the solution so here we will be seeing the basic differences between both of them so without further ado let us begin so first of all we will check about turbidimetry so what is turbidimetry intensity of the transmitted light from the colloidal solution is measured in the turbidimetry whereas your intensity of the scattered radiation from the colloidal solution is measured in nephilometry so here the main difference is i have highlighted in the black pen uh, turbidimetry is nothing but it is measuring the intensity of the light which is transmitted whereas in nephilometry intensity of the radiation which is scattered that is measured okay so in turbidimetry we will be measuring the intensity of the transmitted light whereas in the nephilometry we will be measuring the intensity of the scattered radiation so i hope the first point is clear that is in turbidimetry we will measure intensity of transmitted light and in nephilometry scattered radiation's intensity will be measured now the second point states that intensity of the transmitted light is usually measured at 180 degrees of angle and here the intensity of the scattered radiation is usually measured at 90 degree angle okay guys now this is very important even in terms of mcqs usually in jpad and ipo they used to ask this type of mcqs so know that in turbidimetry angle is 180 degree and in nephilometry the angle kept is 90 degrees now the third difference turbidimetry is similar to colorimetry and nephilometry is similar to fluorimetry okay so whenever sometimes even mcqs are asked about such type of similarity so whenever this type of similarity question is asked then do know that turbidimetry will be similar to colorimetry and nephilometry will be similar to fluorimetry now the next point it is useful for more dense suspensions whereas nephilometry is useful for less dense suspensions so i have a trick for you in this how to remember this so here it is written that turbidimetry is responsible for what more dense suspensions right so how to remember this see in turbidimetry there is d d for density or more denser solution so it is useful for more dense suspensions and nephilometry is useful for less dense suspensions okay d stands for more dense over here now next let us move to the next point here the intensity of the transmitted light is indirectly proportional to the concentration of the suspended particles whereas your intensity of the scattered light is directly proportional to the concentration of the suspended particles so what does this mean now see if a concentration as i have told you is more dense okay so more denser the solution less light will be transmitted out of it whereas if the suspension is less dense then more light will be transmitted out of it so the transmitted light will be indirectly proportional to the concentration of the suspended particles however in nephilometry which is based on the principle of scattering here it states that intensity of the scattered light is directly proportional to the concentration of the suspended particles and here the final graph will be in the form of turbidance which is written as s versus concentration and here the final graph will be intensity i which is directly proportional to the concentration intensity of the scattered light and here it is turbidance which is directly proportional okay but transmitted light is indirectly proportional to the concentration of the suspended particle you should know that 
So this is the basic difference between the turbidimetry and the nephilometry. I hope that it is clear to you. And if you found this video helpful, then do press the like button and subscribe to my channel for such future updates. And if you have any doubt, any specific topic related doubt or any doubt with respect to competitive exams like JPAT or NIPER, then please do let me know. I'll be happy to help you out. Till then, stay safe.